and uh, in combat. So much fun to play. You know, just all this crazy uh, over oh, the top look at characters this. Yeah. mixing Co it up. Yeah. yeah, Devorah right there. Uh, you know, and Scorpions over there. They. What's really cool about the game is we've added this new thing called character variations, which is basically every character in the game has three versions in the game, three versions of that character. Scorpion, you can see here, then Jitsu here, he, he fights with the swords in, in combat. That's exclusive to that version, whereas Hellfire Scorpion has like the, you know, fire, fireballs, he can set himself on fire. Again, exclusive to that version. So as we have three different versions, uh, the Inferno Scorpion summons this demon from all over the place. And uh, it really adds, you know, to all the layering of uh, the games. The variables. So we're really excited about that. Devor is the same thing. I guess they can, uh, uh, you know, just so, so these, the introduction of these four new characters is really exciting. Awesome. Tons of new characters. I mean, I saw some crazy name. Cassie Cage. Any, any relation? Yes, Cassie Cage is Johnny Cage and Sonya Blade's daughter. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You heard yeah. it here first. Wow, and, that's and, awesome. Yeah, and so, um, so she's cool. She has a combination of uh, Johnny Cage's moves and Sonya's moves. So it's a really uh, a, lot of, a lot of fun to see her play. That's awesome. Now, you yeah. guys have been so well known over the many, many years that Mortal Kombat's been out there. And I've been a huge fan since the very first one. Having this sort of soap opera storyline, where does yeah. this all fit into sort of the mythos and the timeline? Well, it... it, it um, it's actually, the story takes place um, over the span of, 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 you know, right after the, the MK9 ended, and then it goes as far as 25 years into the future. Wow. So, you know, you're going to see, you're gonna see some uh, aged uh, MK characters. You're going to see, you know, some next generation stuff. And so it's really, uh, we're really taking a dramatic uh, approach with the story of the game. Nice. Now, we got some gameplay going right now. Looking great on PS4. I mean, these backgrounds are incredibly dynamic. And, and one thing I think we'll be seeing it soon enough here, I think, is the backgrounds. There's a little bit of interactivity now that we saw last night at the PlayStation press conference. Yeah, there's, there's like, you know, there's a number of places that you can actually leverage yourself. Watch Scorpion. He can actually run up the wall. And uh, the characters can kind of use that to position themselves. A lot of what a fighting game is, where am I with relation to the other character? And so this really lets you get to where you want to be a lot quicker. There's just kind of a lot more tools for the player to use. It's really... Uh, really makes the, the, the fighting a lot more movement in the fighting. Very nice. And uh, where is this location now? What are we seeing here in the background? This one's called the Cove, which um, we unfortunately misspelled. We spelled it with a C. But then <laughs> <laughs> it has a number of, uh, you know, these kind of interactive things. But we're, we're, we're excited. You know, you see the C coming. It actually, when it hits the, uh, you know, the, the, the bridge there, uh, every once in a while a body will be lifted up. You can grab that body and throw it at your opponent. So, so there's a lot of really uh, cool surprises that are happening in this. In this Great. Now, I'm sure I'm not the only one who's a huge fan of the last Mortal Kombat that came out on PS3. Uh, from a gameplay perspective, I'm still seeing some familiar... It uh, looks like there's a, the energy meter effect. Yeah. How have you guys... Have you iterated that at all, or is it... Yeah, we've refined it. You know, I, I, that's one of the things I think that worked out really well with, with MK9 or... or 2011 Mortal Kombat is is this meter. You know, you could do so many things with it. You can enhance your special moves. You can do those breakers, break out of a combo. And then, of course, you can do the kind of crazy uh, x-ray moves, which are, you know, kind of become kind of synonymous with Mortal Kombat. You see one right here. Oh! Now, I say this in the nicest possible way. I'm having a very hard time looking at you because I have a monitor in front of me here. Yeah, yeah. And I just, I'm like talking to the monitor. Yeah, it's so hard to take cool. your eyes off this game. That's been a, a hallmark of this series. You yeah. always just want to stare at it because it's so unique. It's so visually stimulating. But uh, when it comes to, yeah, when it comes to the combat here, we're seeing, a, 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 I think, a more fluid sort of approach. Yeah, yeah, the, 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 the action and the flow just really, really moves a lot. Some of it is, you know, like we're... We're always making advancements with animation, but again, you know, when, when you have all these um, places in the arena that you can kind of run up and move, you know, just just like an ebb and flow type of thing that happens more. So it's really, uh, it's, it makes for a lot more fun matches to watch and whatnot. Now, and if my eyes don't deceive me, I think this may be na native 1080p, 60 frames a second. Is that, Pardon me? is this t uh, 1080 Oh yeah, yeah, it's full 1080p, 60 frames a second. Yeah, awesome. We're, we're really excited about that. We always want to keep the game running at um, a high frame rate for, you know, responsiveness. Of course, yeah. So, obviously, you guys are, are still early. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. 
actually going to get it. Oh, what do we got here? Oh. I see the gore technology has already come a long way. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. And the ending's great, too. <laughs> uh, and the dollop of cream on top of an awesome yeah. fatality. <laughs> wow, this is, uh, this is something else. I, I don't even know where to begin. There's so much to talk about. What was your guiding principle, though, coming into this game? I mean, you said you didn't want to just kind of reskin the original Mortal Kombat, but there's definitely a lot of new characters, too. Was that, are we still going to see some of these older characters that we know and love? Yeah, we're, we're certainly going to see, um, um, you know, familiar characters. We're going to see, um, like, Cassie is a descendant of a familiar character. So there's going to be some familiarity, but also a newness involved there. And then we also just want to add new elements, you know, gameplay-wise with the character variations and the environment use, but then also um, just character-wise. We just really want people to say, you know, who's the big Hulk with the, the little yeah. lady on his, on his shoulders? You know, we just really want to introduce as much new elements to uh, not to just kind of rest back on on the old game. So that's a perfect segue. Who is this hulking figure with this rider on his shoulder? It's, it, the, the name of the character is called Farah Tor. Farah is the, the little lady on the top. Tor is the big uh, beast. And he actually uses her in a lot, number of ways. He can throw her like a, like a projectile. They work in tandem with each other. So you can make some really cool combos that, that, that involve each other. And um, they're, they're, she, she's kind of like the brains of it, you know? So she's giving them commands. There's a certain very vari some variations. She's just running on the ground. Other ones, she's on top of his uh, shoulders. And there's another one where she stabs him and kind of makes him start bleeding, which enrages him. And then he does a lot more damage. <laughs> it's a great kind of risk reward type of thing. That's awesome. So I don't want to spoil anything. I know you guys have just revealed this game. Obviously, there was a killer trailer for the game yeah. that came out just a week or two ago. Who's yeah. next, right? Yeah. Then we just saw first gameplay last night, the PlayStation E3 press conference. We're seeing new live gameplay right now. Have you guys revealed, or, or can, is there any information you can provide as to who the big bad is here for Mortal Kombat X? Who the big bad? The big bad is. We, we know who it is, but we're, we're not at the point to, to be able to reveal sure. it. It's, it's going to be a, um, a fun, uh, uh, surprise returning character. Okay. To speak. But, uh, so, so people won't, not a lot of people will see it coming, but we're, there's a lot of... Uh, a lot of uh, surprises in the story. I yeah, see a yeah. twinkle in your eye as you yeah, say that. Yeah. So say no more. Yeah. We want to keep your secrets close to your chest here. But so can you tell us about the background that we're seeing here? Is this oh, this background is called Outworld Marketplace. You know, it's, just, it's another good example of like the, um, the uses that you can have of it. Oh, I can see an x-ray here real quick. <laughs> Ooh. You know, it's got this tarp on the right side there that you can, you know, Ugh. if you're, you can jump up and launch yourself out off of you know, to get over to the other side there. There's this big tiger in the middle that uh, you can jump off of, you know, to kind of get a, position yourself a long jump. Right there, you see it there. And, um, and then there's, there's this, I, I think she's already been thrown. There's this old lady that we call Blanche that you can grab and throw at your opponent there. And uh, she uh, doesn't survive the throw, so. But yeah, this is, this is one of our, our brand new uh, environments here, you know, and again, there's a number of uh, interactive uh, things that you can do. I've got to say, Sub-Zero looking very dynamic here in Mortal Kombat X, and summoning swords and hammers and, and throwing ice clones at Yeah, people. yeah, he's cool. This, this, this version of him actually has, uh, he actually freezes oh. the guy's entrails here and then jams <laughs> him. Uh, <laughs> Nasty. I mean, you guys, I know you guys sit around and, like, dream up different fatalities. Yeah, and yeah. I mean, I, I got to say, like, I mean, were they all nighter sessions on Mortal Kombat X? Because these are the most creative I've seen yet. Yeah, we, we you know, we have these fun meetings that are, that are, um, and here's a good fatality. Oh boy. Fatality, you know, somebody says, you know, I want to grab somebody's spine and break it, lift them up in the air and split them in half. So it's... Ah, uh, nice little...